Hello everyone, this is Watson, and today we're going to talk about a very special device that can help us watch birds. So spring is coming, and the birds are coming out more and more often. So sometimes when we have a backyard, birds will visit once in a while, and us bird lovers, we like to set up like a birdhouse or a bird feeder. And when we set up a birdhouse, we can't really get a close look at what's happening inside like this. If we have a bird feeder, well, it's like open, it's an open uh, object, so we can see them eating in the bird feeder. But for the birdhouse, it's hard for us to get a close look at what's happening inside. If we want to use like a camera, well then it would be very hard for us to fit it in because it is very small. The space inside is very small. And if we put like a IP camera whatsoever inside, it's gonna take up a lot of space. So you can see that I have three really tiny cameras in front of me. You can take a look, it's just smaller than the size of my palm. And in this case, it would take up very little space inside the birdhouse and still it has many other features like a tiny camera like this can provide us 1080p high definition resolution it has infrared which can help us get a close look and a clear image when it's dark around and also it has an audio built-in so we can hear the birds as well also it has adjustable lenses so sometimes if we want to change different angles or change to another bird box we can always adjust the focus length so it would always provide us a very clear still image also, we have recording features. If we download the app on our mobile devices or our smart devices, we can play back the pre previous videos from the camera and also restore them on a hard disk drive. So there are three kinds, three versions of the small bird box camera. Our fast cabling, we've designed three different models for three different scenarios. So if you are like a Wi-Fi guy, you like every of your piece of technology wireless, you can choose the Wi-Fi bird box camera. This one we power it up with a 12 volts direct current, direct current adapter and it has a wireless antenna right here so when you just place it in it can transmit the signal wirelessly. It's really convenient and it has some disadvantages as well like not a really steady connection which is a commonly known inside like wireless technology. But still, it has the many other features like the high definition resolution. That's pretty great. And then, if you don't like a wireless devices, you can choose our wired products. So the wired, the two wired versions, they have, one is the PoE wired bird box camera. The PoE wired bird box camera, we use PoE technology. PoE technology transmits power and data through one single Ethernet cable. So we have on this end, we would have like an injector to provide the power and data. And then on the other end of the Ethernet cable, all we need to do is to connect this to the Ethernet port and then it will provide the power and data. It might take a lot of work like um, on deploying your Ethernet cabling, but it provides us very steady connections. And it's really good if we want to look for live streaming this to other friends. It always depends on like our needs. We always choose the cameras depending on what kind of uh, request we have. So it doesn't, doesn't really have like the best one to choose. And after that one, we'll take a look at this one. This one is called the HDMI bird box camera. It looks like the same of these two, but it works kind of differently. These two are IP cameras. This one is a HDMI camera. You can see right here, it has quite, uh, quite like an analog connection, the analog connector. So with this camera, you would need one of these splitters to split all the data away from the... F so then, when we connect this, you will see the camera's video will be separated to audio and video, and also we will have a power line. So it's also a 12 volts direct current adapter, and with this, we would need to use a converter. This will convert to a 4K high definition resolution image. So when we plug these in, our video will be converted and we can just use an HDMI cord cable to connect it to like a TV, a monitor. The advantage of this camera is this camera is a very easy plug and play device so we don't need to like set up softwares, configure the settings and it's much more senior friendly. So if you're like used to analog devices or you don't really want to get your uh, get too much tech 
learning time on how to use a technology like your smartphone, how to download the app and set the camera in your list. You can choose like an HDMI camera. All you need to do is connect each cable in the perfect correct spot and it will provide you high definition resolution videos. So these are the three models we have and now I'm going to demonstrate how to easily install one of these cameras to a birdhouse. So let's take like the Wi-Fi bird box camera right here and I have a bird box right here. So now next thing I'm going to do is just going to install this into the birdhouse and make sure you have like a little screwdriver because our our screws we provide are really small and you, it's going to be a lot, not a lot of work. So now I'm going to lay this birdhouse down. So once I lay it down, we find we can install it anywhere we want but the most ideal place is like on the roof because in that case you can get a very perfect angle of the birds inside and then we take our rack right here we kind of place it on somewhere choose an ideal spot and take our screwdriver and our screw we just easily screw it in very easy not a lot of tech involved and after that, we take our bird box camera, face the camera downwards, like vertically with our roof. And then we take our small mini screws and just apply them. Once we get one end in, the other end would be much more easier. No, it's not. So we just place this side in. And then, voila, the camera is installed <coughs> in the bird box. And voila, the camera is installed in the bird box. And now we just have to place the cables correctly and the best for us is to keep the pigtails facing downwards to prevent the water leak to, and damage our whole device and that's pretty much it all right thank you guys for watching this video if you guys have any more questions feel free to leave them at the section below thank you guys for watching today and i'll see you guys next time goodbye